So this is Danny Flexen here at 4 Seconds Out, delighted to be joined by Avni Yildirim and Armour Owner, of course. How are you guys? How are you? Thank you very much. We are fine. Good. Thank you very much. I'm good. I'm feeling good. I'm happy to be here. And I hope you too. <laughs> I am good. I am good. I guess the first question is, we know why Jack Cullen has taken this fight. He sees this as a springboard to a world level. You, on the other hand, have just fought Canelo, the best fighter pound for pound in the world. What's the attraction to this fight for you? Uh, sorry, because, another because, because of uh, my promoter. My promoter wants to uh, this opponent, but okay, no problem. I want to give Avni the opportunity to come I, back. I problem, huh? I to Avni back. wants to go to middleweight. We did this fight on 164 catchweight, and I had an agreement with Matchroom, Eddie Hearns, and he's following the deal and he said to me okay he gave me some opponents and I said Jack Cullen I like him because he's a real opponent and Avni if he wants to make a real statement he has to move over Jack Cullen to middleweight division and show people that you can't only judge Avni with one Canelo fight and Avni although the Canelo fight did not go the way you wanted did you learn anything from it yeah, but I don't want to talk too, uh, too, too much about uh, Canelo fights, you know. Is uh, I don't want to look look looking back, so you know. Sorry, but sorry. He did not learn. He did not fight. Avni was not ready. Avni, what? You can only learn. He learned by Eubank fight. He learned by Durell fight. Canelo, he was not Avni. I can tell this. He. It happens sometimes, psychologically. You can have a blackout. Something happened. It's a long story. After the fight, we can talk. Two years off, two surgeries, COVID, all the questions. You know, of course, we expect a different situation. But you know what? Sometimes it happens. You have a child goes to a, a university and he's not able to do mathematics. Uh, after the Israel fight, uh, I didn't get in the ring for two years, you know. Two injuries, two surgeries, yeah. training camps, not really good. Everything was hurry, 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 hurry. Are we fighting? Are we no fighting? COVID, Corona, oh, there's the day. Take it or leave it. And you can't say no to Canelo. So he has a commitment to the business, to me, and he did it. Okay, so no judgment. It's my fault. And do you think that Matchroom and Jack Cullen may be uh, overlooking you or underestimating you because of the Canelo fight? Seni küçük görüyorlar mı maçtan dolayı? Olabilir de. Possible. Yeah. Does that give you more motivation? But I don't. But I don't care. Yeah. But maybe everyone is thinking different. Uh, you know, because of last, last, uh, my last fight, because of Canelo fight. But that's normal. You know, I don't. But I don't care. You've changed your trainer since the last fight. Yeah. You're now with. Uh, After the fight, uh, uh, I opened a new page. Everything is new, new weight class, is, but new division. And we'll see. I don't want to talk too much, but we'll see. Yeah. Can you tell us about your new trainer and what? what, what? I, I, I working now is with Pedro Diaz. He, he's a good trainer. He's, he has good atmosphere. Yes, uh, I did. I did. Uh, I did uh, good training camp. I'm ready for the fight. What does Pedro Diaz bring to you that you haven't had before? What's his style? Pedro Diaz is my former old trainer. We trained, worked together yeah. with many fighters, Solis and everybody. Pedro Diaz is used to fighters to teach them new things from a Cuban school. And Pedro Diaz is a doctor of sport, and Pedro Diaz is a, has a particular way. He is a very, he goes in details. He takes a fighter and builds him up. He get, takes care for his uh, training, for his conditional. The American coaches are not bad; they are all good. Everybody has a style, but Pedro Diaz's style is now ideal for Avni because Avni needed the attention after the Canelo because for him was not nice. The situation after Canelo was a nightmare for him as a fighter, for him his feeling. And now he has a new page with a coach who brought him to a new level. And on Saturday we will see the new level. So I promise you one thing, we see a different Avni. 
And if Jack Cullen underestimates Avni, good luck for him. But it will be very painful and hurtful. And he can say, I lost to a good guy. It's okay. Respect, you learn something, Jack. Good luck for your future. But Avni shows people that he is back. He needs that win to make a statement. So I think all is cool. And Avni, why middleweight? Why move down now? But after the uh, after the, uh, after the Canelo fight, uh, we meet uh, with my promoter. We talk about uh, for for my uh, future career, you know. But uh, we talk about one something. We talk about uh, anything, we talk many times anything. But and then uh, we are last decision. Is we go, we go to uh, the middleweight. Is it hard for you to make the weight now compared to? Easy for me now. Today morning, is I, I check is my weight is 163. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, because he's not a very big man. You know, he's he's not he's very tall. For him, we ha should. We were thinking many times, but we had the mandatory position. We can't leave it in super middleweight, so we have to stay. So boxing is about also business and industry and everything so now he's in the middle of it because i think that is his we want we were talking about charlo before the canelo fight we were thinking many things so now it's the time and final question for you avni uh what is going to happen on saturday night again but uh, i want i want to show uh, uh, anybody who is on the and who is Avni Yildirim? Yeah. Who is Avni? Who is Avni Yildirim? But, but we will see in Saturday. Okay. Ah. Thank you very much. You will destroy it. Cheers, Avni.